This is it. This is the exhibition and pop-up shop. Uh, really excited to get to this stage. It's magnificent to see Hardwick's drawings, the line drawings, the hand-drawn line drawings in such a way. Uh, we've always focused on the colored versions in, in different colorways and to just strip it back to, you know, the basics, the, the lines that you draw so patiently is just extraordinary. I fell in love with the line version when I first came to visit actually, so yeah, I was very excited about this exhibition. I think sometimes you actually pick up the detail more with the black and white, you know, because you really appreciate it. And, you know, look, the colour's great, but um, yeah, I, I like the black and white. I think lots of the original sketches, they were black and white as well. It was like walking into a little bit of a kid's wonderland when you stepped in here. It really felt like that, and I looked around and I just had this sense of, wow, that's really amazing. So that was my first impression. I really love the fact that it's now something very different from this very colourful image of Jolly Britain. Somehow I feel that this is a different side of me, whereas Jolly Britain was very much my inner child unleashed. Very vivid, vibrant and colourful. This is the other side of me, basically. It's the architect inside me, so it has a much more architectural feel, even slightly technical. I've got also this desire for being as accurate as possible. We've got those two sides. United in one single space. Actually having them out as black and white drawings is really beautiful to be able to see Hartwig's detail um, and his architectural background, it really stands out. But still with that fun effect, which I think will always be there because he's a fun guy. I think it stands out, um, taking it out of context from the way I normally see it. It just gives it a bit more space and you can see the detail a lot more. There's so much um, intricate sort of attention to you know certain places which are landmarks of London and for me that you know that sits well with me because I'm a Londoner.